Welcome back to the show. I am adding to our uh, podcast here, our good friend, Tucker Maxwell. Tucker is uh, one of the top mortgage professionals here on the east side, and he really likes to focus on helping folks here in the Pacific Northwest maximize their mortgage payments so that they can build long-term wealth. Welcome back to the show. Um, how are you doing, Tucker? Great, Dan. Thanks for having me back. Awesome. So we're talking subject today is home loan servicing and why it matters. Um, I think most people don't even really know what this is, what home loan services is. So why don't you unpack that to begin with? Yeah, I would completely agree with you that everybody is so focused on the front end of a mortgage that they kind of either neglect or just forget that at some point after that loan closes, they'll have to make payments. And who are they making payments to? Who do they call for assistance that verifies, did my payment post? Did it actually get there? And what if I want to make extra payments? That sort of thing. So the servicing entity is the organization that is responsible for servicing that loan ongoing and collecting payments and potentially marking you late if you're late, doing all of those things that um, is the responsibility of the entity that is servicing that mortgage debt. Okay. So um, what are some examples? I'm, I'm guessing you guys do that? Yep. Yeah. So, you know, traditionally speaking, mortgage lenders get their funds from Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. And what that means is that after that loan closes, they're delivering that investment, that mortgage note, to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac to bundle up and sell as a mortgage backed security. And then Fannie Mae releases it to a servicing entity. So Guild Mortgage, um, there's a ton of them out there. Mr. Cooper's a big one, um, some of the big banks, but there's entities that say, kind of sign up and say, hey, Fannie Mae, we'll take those loans and we'll be the servicing entity and you can pay us a premium to do so. So um, when, it, when it comes to that, what does a borrower need to know when they originate a loan about loan servicing? Yeah. So the, the, the first question to ask is who is going to be that servicer or is it going to change? Can, can the, can upfront, they guarantee who's going to be collecting those payments? Um, because what often happens is it's not talked about your loan gets sold. It's at Mr. Cooper. Then Mr. Cooper sells it to Guild Mortgage and then Guild Mortgage sells it to somebody else. And you're constantly updating your payments. You're constantly going in, getting a new profile, a new online bill pay site and all of these things. And you're constantly updating that information. Um, so it's important to ask the lender on the front end is who services your loan? And is it going to stick with that one servicer? Is this potentially going to change um, and kind of understand that up front? especially in a marketplace today, Dan, where we're talking about, you know, the, the, the kind of the sayings of, you know, date the rate and marry the home. We're, we're suggesting to buyers that you buy now and you refinance in the future. A big component to that refinance has to do with who's servicing that loan and a big advantage to refinancing down the road with the same lender that's managing that servicing account is we don't have to reset those balances. So if I'm collecting taxes and insurance as part of your payment, it's accumulating in my escrow balance here with our servicing department. You come to us and say, hey, rates have dropped and I want to refinance. We can say, fantastic. We don't have to recalculate or recollect for those taxes and insurance. We can refinance you with very little out of pocket expense and keep things going business as usual. You don't have to reset up your payment or anything. We just lower your rate and keep moving forward. So All right. So we're answer. talking about continuity. We're talking about um, not getting confused as to doing a double payment and stuff like that, because those kinds of things could happen. Um, so are you telling me that Guild Mortgage is always going to be the loan servicer? Uh, this is a great question. Not always. So there are certain products that we service and there's certain products that we don't. But for your conventional mortgages, so anything conventionally that's sold to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, all of those mainstream loans that we do, 90, 95% of the loans that we offer are serviced by Guild Mortgage. Now, we do have some niche products that are delivered to a certain investor that wants that particular loan. For instance, we've talked about DSCR loans or investor products that are based on the rents that are received. That's going to a certain investor that likes that loan. That's not a, a conventional loan. So um, yeah. for the most part, we're servicing our loans, but not all of them. Yeah. And I think it's important to note here in this kind of the nuanced conversation yeah. is you, you guys are a mortgage banker and you have the capacity to service your own loans. If you're a mortgage broker, chances are the servicer are who you brokered the loan through. Yeah. 
And it, exactly. it doesn't mean one is better than the other. I would say, you know, from a from a standpoint of continuity and understanding where your money is going and, and uh, you know, if you're a conventional loan, there's that. But the cool thing about um, how you guys are set up is you don't just have to stick to the, you know, I guess I would call it a paper, but it's not. It's just mainstream loans, right? For people yeah. that, that have are just getting a plane, you know, five to 20 percent down, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, you know, there's a, a, a lot of different loan products out there that might fit a specific lender's need, a borrower's need, and you guys have those available. But like you said, it, it probably would go through their servicing directly because they're um, portfolio lenders. So, yep. um, well, what else what else can uh, can somebody know about? I mean, uh, what what to look for specifically in a loan servicer? Yeah. So the next thing I would say is the the whole topic of recasting. So recasting is the ability for a borrower to pay extra money towards principal and have that servicer re-amortize their loan. So if I have you set up on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, we have set it up so that we collect the proper amount over 360 payments. And if you, Dan, come to us and you say, hey, I have ten thousand dollars that I want to put towards principal, you know, um, I want to, uh, you know, stash that money in a safe investment and put it towards principal. If I continue collecting the same amount, I will over collect on your loan, right? Because we've we've received that ten thousand in advance of the schedule that we should have had that loan balance. So what recasting allows us to do is to restructure those remaining payments at a lower amount so that we only collect the proper amount by the end of the term. So it's a great way to lower your payment without going through a refinance just by quickly paying principal reductions. And so it's important to ask your servicer to know who your servicer is because the servicer is the entity that's gonna determine, can you recast? What is the cost associated with it? And if you if that servicer doesn't allow for it and you go to do that, they'll take your money and they'll put it towards principal, but they won't actually lower your monthly payment. Awesome, I love that. Yeah. All right, well, for somebody getting ready to uh, get themselves approved, how do they get in touch with you, Tucker? Yep, on all the major platforms, guildmortgage.com slash Tucker Maxwell or 425-757-9202. All right, very good. Hey, thanks for coming on the show. We're going to have a short commercial break, then we are going to welcome our newest team member, Carrie Jamber, uh, to the Eastside Real Estate team. So come back after this short commercial break. <laughs> 